The Poor Revolutionist, written by Jack T. Chick. You stupid idiot. You bust into a private cell meeting and then start preaching at us? Even if you are my kid brother, I'm going to give you a beating you'll never forget. Hold him. Oh man, this is awesome. He's killing his own brother. Hit him again, Paul. Will you take my hand a year from now when the land is ours? Let him go. I'm through. What a mess. Listen, good Jimmy. I'm sick of Jesus Christ. I'm sick of Christianity. Your religion is so phony that Harry over there, who was born again, changed and joined us as a revolutionist. How do you explain that? I'll tell you why, Paul. Because Harry was a phony Christian. He never trusted God and repented of his sins. How could God dwell in him when he was still filthy inside? You jerk. Christianity is a thing of the past. How dare you call me filthy? You should have killed Paul. Jimmy, Christianity has failed. We are creating one world government by revolution. There's no room for your kind. I never want to see you again. Paul, don't you realize that Jesus died on the cross for your sins? You fanatic, throw this loser out. Goodbye, you god freak. Bible warning. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. When the revolution is over, we'll take care of Jimmy and his kind. It's already on the agenda. Religion is the opium of the masses. Comrades, it's almost time for the revolution. Shall we go over your assignments again, Paul? We know exactly what our unit is to accomplish, Comrade Gregory. When we destroy this oppressive and unfair free market system, one new world order will rise out of its ashes. For your hard work and sacrifice, each of you will be greatly rewarded with a position of power and honor in our fair, tolerant, socialist world. At 11.25 p.m., code word Bedlam is broadcast to all cells. The revolution is underway. Death to all pigs and their families. The so-called liberation force strikes hard. Police officers are set up to answer phony calls, all to be shotgunned. Their families are systematically destroyed. In the meantime, other units move to take over water and power stations. Looting and murder spread. Fires are everywhere. Paul, it's Harry. He's dead. A tank got him. At least he died for the cause. Men, women, and children are herded into detention camps as the death toll mounts. Many civilians now bring out their few concealed weapons. The revolutionists face more firepower than they anticipated. I'm hit. Paul, no. Listen, Paul. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He's delirious. It's not a serious wound. He'll be okay. Wow, I must have been out of my mind. What's happening? Everything is grinding to a halt. Not much food left. People are afraid to go outside. We'll have them in 30 days. After years of registrations, most guns had finally been taken away. The people had no means to fight against the onslaught. Without access to ammunition, the pockets of resistance are worn away. Political leaders cave into the terrorists' demands and the nation collapses. Paul, we did it. The land is ours. The revolution is over. We won. But what a price we paid. The land has been devastated. Why are all these foreign troops still pouring in all around us, Paul? Yeah, I didn't think we needed so many of them. The executions begin. The capitalists are destroyed. Homeowners, those who own anything of value, like a car, become an enemy of the state. Hey, Paul, they've got Jimmy. He wants to talk to you. Where is he? He's by the gallows. I told you we would win. You were a fool, and now you'll pay the price with your own neck. Paul... I'm going to be with the Lord Jesus. Please believe the Lord Jesus and receive him as your Savior, Paul, and your name will be in the book of life and you'll go to heaven too. You must be nuts. Goodbye and God bless you, Paul.
Goodbye, Jimmy. Hey, Paul, Comrade Gregory wants to see you. He says it's important. This is where we get our rewards for our part in the struggle. Now we'll get what we deserve. Comrade Paul, you are a traitor to your own country. How could you expect us to trust you now? You are a revolutionist. Perhaps you might revolt against our system. But you said we sentence you to death immediately. We've been had. We were only their useful idiots. We've been betrayed. I can't believe it. Paul, the revolutionist, is taken for judgment. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. Is his name in the book of life? His name does not appear, Lord. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. The Bible says there is only one way to heaven.